Brother Abdullah from Germany. I have a question regarding Istikhara. <laughs> if if we have three options, um, and should I do Istikhara for all of them? And how do I know in the end that which one is better for me? Or or someone also said to me that um, that whatever Allah does after Istikhara is the answer of the dua. Okay, I will answer you inshallah. First of all, Brother Abdullah, you have to know that istikhara is not a process process of selection. So I have this 911 Turbo 2, and I have this uh, uh, Ferrari, and I don't know which one to buy. A replica, of course, not the real thing. I don't have money. So which one to buy? So I said, oh, okay, let me pray istikhara and see what happens. After praying istikhara, maybe some light would shine or lightning or I would hear thunder or I would have a dream. No, 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 no. This is not istikhara at all. It has nothing to do with istikhara. So the moment you said that I have three choices, istikhara doesn't work here. Why? See, istikhara is asking Allah Azza wa Jal to choose for me. Okay, I have three choices. Which one to choose? Oh Allah, choose for me. No, 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 no. Go back to the basics. What is or what are the basics? The basics, basics are learned from the hadith. The Prophet said in the authentic hadith, إِذَا هَمَّ أَحَدُكُمْ بِالْأَمْرِ When someone attempts to do something, oh, not to select one of three or two options, rather, he had already done his selection and now his mind is set for choosing this particular thing. The other options are out of the picture. Only then you pray istikhara and say, Oh Allah, if this thing that I have selected and I'm attempting to do tomorrow or next week, if there is good in it for me in this life and the hereafter and in, in all my affairs, then make it happen and facilitate it for me. If not, then distract me from it, take it away, substitute me with something that is better and make me happy with that which you have substituted me with. So from this hadith, this is the hadith of the Sikhara by the way, the prayer, prayer of two rakahs and saying the dua afterwards. It clearly states that you've selected, not that I have two sisters or three sisters that I'm interested in marrying and I don't know which one to pick and choose so I pray istikhara. No, I have to do my short listing. Yeah, this one is tall, this one is short, this one is religious, this one is uh, fluent in Arabic, this one knows the Quran, this one knows how to cook. And I come to the conclusion that, okay, I'll choose number three. Done? Done. Now I pray istikhara and the following day I go with the proposal. If there is any good in it, it will happen. If not, something would happen and I won't feel good. They would reject me. Things would come up. And then I, I would be turned off from that. And then I would know how it worked. And Allah Azza wa knows best.